everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and I wanted to share with you five tips to help you speed up your iPhone. This is going to apply mostly for those with older iPhones that are having slowness ever since either iOS 7, 8, or 9. So the first thing I wanted to show you is how to reduce your motion and transparency. The phone actually has a processor that handles this, and the motion effects are the parallax effects. If you have a newer phone, uh, you've got this effect where you move your phone around and you'll see the background kind of move and shift. And then the transparency effects, as you can see through here, these take a little bit more processing power and on older phones can help slow things down. So let's try and fix that. So we go to general and then under general, we have accessibility and then we see reduce motion under reduce motion. We just flip that on and that reduces motion. And this helps with some people that this makes feel a little bit sick too when things are moving around. We go back to accessibility and then under increase contrast, we also have reduced transparency. So if we flip those on, those might give us a little bit more speed. So if I go home, you'll see it just fades to home and the transparencies are gone. So that changes the way it looks, but it also should help speed things up. So let's go back to our settings. And the next thing we want to do is shut off auto downloads. iOS has a really handy feature to shut off downloads, but that also causes problems because it's going to download and do things in the background. So if we scroll down to iTunes and app store, and then under iTunes and app store, we have automatic downloads. If we shut these off music apps, books and audiobooks, and updates that should help us with things not running in the background and slowing down our phone. That's another simple little trick that should help you out there. The third thing is to actually clear our cache in Safari. So if you're using this for a lot of web pages, things like that, that can build up over time and use some memory and a lot of people have tried this tip and say that it works. So you just scroll down once you're in Safari. So again, it's settings, scroll down to Safari, clear history and website data, and this will clear all of your history and website data. And it also says history will be cleared from devices signed into your iCloud account. So make sure you're not on a web page you want to save. Be sure to save that in your bookmarks first, clear it, it clears it and frees up some memory. The fourth thing, and this affects me dramatically, actually, even on this phone is to reduce things you don't need. And by that, I mean, for me, it's photos. But if you have a lot of music you don't listen to, get rid of that. If I go into photos, let me zoom back out here. I have a ton of photos. In fact, this is an iPhone 6S Plus and it lags sometimes even when scrolling. I have over 65,000 photos. So what happens is if I go to my Twitter account, for example, and I want to post, I hit the button and it just kind of sits there and it sits there. And finally it comes up because I have so many photos, it slows everything down throughout the phone. That's a, something I'll mention in another video on how you manage that many photos and how it works in the photos app. But if you delete and you have a ton of those photos, either delete them or offload them to a computer that really speeds things up by quite a bit especially when you have a bunch you're not using. It's definitely something I would recommend doing. The fifth tip I have, and I have a little suggestion after that, is to actually shut off your phone. So if it's getting slow, it's feeling like it's not responding, hold down the power button and then slide to power off. Once it powers off, just turn it back on. So wait a little bit. Once it shuts off, hold down your power button and turn it back on like you did when you first got the phone. If you haven't restarted, I find that I actually have to restart. Well, I'm on different operating systems a lot, but I find that I restart every couple weeks. Maybe it depends on the phone you have and it may make a difference for you. Now that the phone's booted up, the last tip I have for you is that some apps might help. There are apps out there that are for your battery and for memory. And those things can help speed up your phone. Sometimes some people say they work, some people say they don't, but it's worth giving them a try and seeing if there's any good free ones out there. You could also restore and wipe your phone too, if you had no other option. So those are five tips to speed your phone up. Uh, hopefully those help you, but if you have other tips for people watching this video, please let us know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe to see more videos like this. And if you like this video, go ahead and like it as always. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.